Hello, welcome, and um, so it's it all really, I guess, doesn't it? So yeah, uh, beer fifty two box um, already pre opened. I'm not going to start messing around trying to open boxes. Saw what happened a couple of videos ago, and I did that. Let's dive straight on in because you're not really here to you're not really here to hear me talk. You're here to see what's inside. So in we go. And Archer, fifteen pounds off the um, beer fifty two beer shop. Could be useful in the future, so definitely keep hold of that. Um, my beer 52 always comes with uh, here we are, just down the side, sorry, uh, ferment, so a magazine, um, and it's got various factors inside. And of course, it does also, for those of you who haven't seen it before, it gives you information about each of the beers um, within the, the box. Um, so I might go through those, um, and again, for those who don't know, Beer 52 has uh, sort of a, a theme each month. As well as the magazine, you do get a couple of snacks. So I've got uh, some Love Corn, which is smoked barbecue. Uh, I'm not a big fan of barbecue flavours, so we'll see what happens with that. <laughs> um, and some Harvest Snaps and Thai Sweet Chilli. However, again, magazine couple of snacks that's not why you're here so let's jump on in so uh, 10 beers to take a look at um got 10 beers here a uh, mixed case as well so a mixture of uh, lighter beers and darker beers and um, first out is uh, a new england ipa at 5.2 percent uh, this is uh, garden brewery and fredo fox um so yeah was good. That's a nice solid first one to come out. A New England IPA, be happy with that. Uh, it's promising punchy citrus notes with soft fruit aromas, Simcoe, HPC 431 and citrus spectrum hops. So yeah, can't see any reason why I wouldn't like that, quite simply. Uh, next out, uh, Milkshake IPA, coming in at 4.7%. Um, it's got the Garden Brewery and Brussels Beer Project. Uh, so this Milkshake IPA, uh, Promising soft and full body with citrus aromas and gentle vanilla and stone fruit flavours. Again, sounds right up my kind of alley, so looking forward to that one. Third, uh, coffee and hazelnut stout, 5.8%. Uh, this is the Garden Brewery. And they uh, got some symbols, uh, collaborations, so yeah, that. Good. Um, I've got to admit, not a massive fan of coffee, as in I don't drink the stuff. Um, so I'll give it a go. Um, hopefully, it won't be too strong a coffee taste. Fourth out, uh, a dry Irish stout. This is the Garden Brewery and Dogma Brewery. And I'm just trying to find a percentage on this one actually. Uh, ah, four and a half percent. Um, please don't tell me it's on the front, nice and prominent. No, it's not all good. Um, yeah, dark and roasty, smooth and dry. Happy enough to be drinking that one. Uh, so that's four, so we're at halfway point. Um, so cherry and coconut imperial stout. So Garden Brewery and Totten, Tottenhopfen Brow House. Um, let's just search. So. Imperial Stout, so expect the percentage to be, uh, yep, yeah, 7% on that one. So, cherry and coconut, that sounds like an interesting combination. Very happy and looking forward to trying that one. Number six, uh, Oak Aged Vanilla and Chocolate Porter. So this one is the Garden Brewery and Vava Brew. And, uh, where is it? Five and a half percent. Um, yeah, happy enough. Tend to see plenty of um, sort of porters with a chocolatey kind of flavour, so yeah, no reason why um, I wouldn't like that one quite simply. Um, sorry, I'm just taking a look because I just realised with the symbols it might actually tell me that it's with. Um, sorry, let's go back. So this was the coffee and hazelnut stout. I couldn't find who this collaborates with. It's got Chicago's Nature Boardwalks, so I think they might be partners. Sorry. Let me take a look very quickly through. Um, 
this the, the deck can't run that. Anyway, let's get back to the final four. Um, Smash IPA at 4.8%, so uh, Garden Brewery and the White Hag. Um, yeah, IPA, happy days. Quick now, look forward to that. Uh, next up, Munich Hellers, so a lager. Uh, a clean and crisp lager, in fact, with bready and herbal notes at 4.4%. Uh, is this the Garden Brewery and uh, Kajak, Q-A-J-A-Q, a uh, brewery from Greenland. Um, can't really remember having had a beer from Greenland before, so that was going to be um, a first, I think. A couple more to go. Uh, a West Coast DDH IPA. Uh, so assertive, dank, resinous and chewy. Classic West Coast IPA with modern hop products, Spectrum and Incognito. Uh, coming from Garden Brewery and Lervig. Uh, did I get, no, I think it's not done that. And it is at 6%. And then final one, diving in. Uh, session IPA at 4%. Um, so showcasing mosaic hops in their incognito and spectral forms, big tropical notes of pineapple and citrus. Uh, sounds very nice and nice bit of artwork. So that's Garden Brewery with Hercules. So that concludes the um, Beer 52 box. Um, as always, next time I order um, some beer and um, it arrives, uh, of course I'll unbox it and share it. So I look forward to seeing you then. Prior to that, what I'll do is I'll put the um, sort of link to Beer 52 um, in the description or in the comments. Um, in terms of comments, please leave me you know, a comment. Have you tried any of these? What are they like? Are there any that you'd be particularly interested in trying? Again, leave a comment, let me know. Look forward to um, seeing some comments. Look forward to interacting, engaging with people on those comments. And of course, next time I get some beer, um, I look forward to seeing you again as I unbox it.